All right, we're live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the webinar here. Uh, I'm Robin Robbins. You probably know that already. I am the CEO of Big Red Media and uh, Technology Marketing Toolkit. You probably heard of MSP Success Magazine. Yeah, that's us. Um, and I got Tanya Gentry with me, who's my chief sales officer for Big Red Media. And uh, we are doing this to announce something that we just started. I wish I had a little horn or something. You see, you know, if we had, if we, yeah, if we had planned this a little better, Tanya, we could have had a little, yeah. maybe somebody come in behind you with a horn and blow yeah. it. But um, yeah, we are launching a new service here. We are calling it Sponsorship as a Service. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. It's not just going to be about that. We are going to give you a little meat on the bone here. You know, we're going to give you a little learning here. So um, let me share my screen. So you guys should be seeing that. So welcome, everybody. Appreciate you being here. Um, and we're going to talk about securing millions of dollars in sponsorship revenue without having to lift a finger. I mean, who wouldn't want that? That's like called a sales pitch, people. All right. Right there. It is. That's, that's good stuff. Okay. Um, so really what we're going to cover, cover today is how getting sponsorship dollars can provide a significant boost to bottom line profits in your business. You guys probably already know that, but it really does need to be said again and, and remind you um, how sponsors can dramatically enhance your events because it's not just money that sponsors can, um, can bring. There's other things they can bring and they can enhance your events. We're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to talk about surprising ways to secure sponsorship revenue that you probably haven't even considered or thought about. Um, and then how, of course, you can get us, TMT, to do work in packaging, pricing, marketing, selling, and fulfilling on your sponsorship deals, whatever those are, okay? So um, like I said, I've already introduced myself. You guys know me. I'm sure you know Tanya. Tanya, yeah. how long have you worked for me now? Uh, since 2017. So seven years, eight years, seven years. Wow. I can't do the math. Yeah. Oh, a while. A while, right? Yeah. She came up through the ranks, started out as a lowly salesperson, just little itty bitty <laughs> selling the toolkits, you know, yeah. and uh, worked up. She's running uh, one of the biggest divisions in my company now. And she works with um, so many, how many, how many vendors do we have that we now um, sponsor our events? Oh gosh. I mean, anywhere from, you know, 80 plus at uh, boot camp, we'll have, we'll have over 80 this year because we have the room for it. We always sell out um, for boot camp. Um, and then we work with a lot of different vendors throughout the year with different things of different engagements, whether it's events or Legion, digital Legion. We, we work with, you know, it's, we'd work with more if we had more inventory, but my, the, our events team would kill us if we kept adding more events and more events. But. Yeah. Which actually kind of gets to a good point, you know, which is, this is why we're doing this because we do sell out all of our sponsorship opportunities. That's legit. We don't discount. Um, we, we do that every year and my sales reps are always like, Hey, I need more inventory. So part of the idea for us is, well, we're really good at packaging, pricing, delivering sponsorship packages. Why not do that for other people in the channel? And because, you know, the reality is too, we're selling to the same customers because, you know, the people who sponsor our events are also sponsoring um, Connect or IT Nation or the ASCII events or whatever, right? So it's like, well, why not represent uh, a bigger audience and have more inventory to sell? So we are, we are very well steeped in this, but just to give you an idea, this year alone, TMT Big Red Media will generate $9.2 million in sponsorship revenue alone. So all of that money is extra money we're getting for things that we are already doing, events, webinars, the magazine, et cetera, et cetera. That's a really, really important thing because sponsorship dollars in our model are like, we're like, you could say the magazine, well, the magazine is, you know, runs on paid ads, but really the magazine is more of a positioning piece for TMT mm -hmm. and we get sponsors to cover the cost of it and, and make a little bit of revenue on top of it as well. So think about it. We're actually getting marketing and positioning for us as TMT paid for. And that's what I talk about when I, when you think about sponsor money, you want to think about a way where, um, you can use those funds to fuel growth, to fuel marketing, um, and in your events, even we're going to talk about this a little bit, how you can make it even, um, have better experiences at your event, right? Um, we generate an average of about $3,100 per person 
for our bigger events, like your, like our boot camps, and 907 per person for smaller events. Like we have these rapid implementation workshops and we get an average about uh, 70, actually it's more than that, like the last two we've had over a hundred. So that number is climbing, but you know, roughly we get about 907 per person for the smaller events. All that goes to the bottom line. Our average sponsor uh, spends about $25,200 per event with us. And 96% of our sponsors are repeat buyers. Um, I will add that we're the only company in the channel that I know of, maybe I'll be corrected, selling sponsorships to virtual events. So we actually built a, a platform that is a virtual event platform coming out of 2020, and it has a whole sponsor component to it. So it's not just a Zoom meeting. It actually is a full event. So, you know, we are, uh, we're very well known, obviously, for marketing for MSPs and helping uh, you know, people know us more for the smaller MSPs, the ones that are, you know, 10 million and below are really our sweet spot and helping them grow their business. Um, but sponsorship is another thing that we are very well versed in. We know it. Tanya does a fantastic job leading that team. I hear it over and over again. People will compliment us and they say sponsoring our events. Um, they they love our events. They love our team. They, they feel very well cared for. They The events are very well organized. So I know I'm tooting my own horn here. I was saying we needed a horn, right? Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I, I know, right? But I really do think my my event team, my sponsor team does a brilliant job at taking care of our customers. And I think the other thing that we do very well is incorporate the sponsors to the event without making it overtake the event. Because, you know, you don't want the event to be all about the sponsors, but at the same time, sponsors can't be an afterthought. They have to be incorporated into the event and they got to be done that uh, in a way that's appropriate, in a way that they see value and in a way that the attendees see value. And so there's that balancing act. And I think that's some of the things that we're really, really good at. If you've never been to one of our events, if you're watching this, and I know we got a lot of people watching this, but if you're yeah. watching this and you've never been to one of our events, I am inviting you as a VIP guest, just reach out to us on the email. We'll put an email here somewhere. Um, and and join us at one of our events and see firsthand if I'm full of it or if I'm actually speaking the truth. And I hope that you have already been to some other industry events so you have something to compare it against because I really do think we do a top-notch job. Uh, I know it's me and it's my baby, but I think we run events better than anybody in our industry, full stop, period. I don't know, Tanya, am I, am I, am I getting very egotistical here? I think. No, 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 not at all. I mean, I know that our team does a, you know, constantly is inviting uh, vendors to come and see what it's like. Um, I think we're one of the few, we don't want them to pay for it. They don't need to buy a ticket to come to it. We have them come as our guest, um, and we've got a phenomenal team. Um, and I think that's where all of this has, has gotten us to this point. Um, you know, when I started with you in 17 and then moved over here in 18, it was just one one, maybe two of us, and now it's grown into an entire team. And we've got a team that is so well-versed in how to take care of the vendor community that it's it's been really amazing to see what we've been able to, to do over in the last you know, five, six, seven years. So, yeah. yeah. So we're good at it. That's what I'm we're trying good. to say here. That's why you need to listen to it. Thank us. everybody. If you've been here, if you've been to it, you know that. There's not... From from those of us that sell it to Holly's team that, that fulfills on it, there's no one that would say... I, I, we never hear someone say you guys didn't take a good, didn't take good care of us. So you got it. Yeah. All right. So just in case you're wondering what sponsorship is, I I don't know why I felt compelled to put the slide in here, but I just did. I so you know forgive me, but you know sponsorship is money that you're paying to an event organizer. They a pro they call it a property. So if you really get steeped into the sponsorship universe, you know they call. Um, a, a sponsorship event, a property, uh, you know, whether it's an event or a magazine or something like that, or a company, and you're doing that for the ability to gain commercial access to that company's clients, attendees, or subscribers. But the other thing that you can do, or the other reason to have sponsorship is you can gain favorable association with that company or that endorsement. Um, because when I stand on stage and I say, hey, XYZ is a very, very reputable, good company to deal with, and I'm talking to my audience, they get by association with me, they get that uplift. You know, when when we sponsor an event and the event organizer in, introduces us and says, hey, TMT is an awesome company. You absolutely want to do business with them. We get that endorsement. We get that association. So, you know, we, and you want to think about this in two ways because you could have people sponsor your events 
Um, and that's good, you know, because they give you money, but it's also that association. There are people or companies that can actually lift your company up as well from an endorsement stands standpoint. In fact, I want to talk a little bit about why we love sponsors. And I want to, I want you to really think about this because obviously they cover all or part of the hefty and growing cost of in-person events. So you can continue to provide this to your clients and partners. And so let me, we run the largest peer group in our industry by far. We have just over 1,500 members in various different membership peer groups that we run. Uh, the next closest, I think, is, I think it's True Peer, and I think they have about 600, okay? So we run the largest by far. And one of the things that I can tell you without a doubt is getting your partners to an event with you is a, it is a game changing relationship building experience. And I, so like, for example, with us, members who come to events get better results. They stay longer. Um, they're happier. They refer more. Um, so getting people to events is really important. But if you're if you're a software company or whatever the services you're providing, you know, events are expensive and they they have exploded in cost since COVID with inflation, and everything else. So it's no joke. I mean, just even giving something like a continental breakfast, I mean, you're paying like 30 to $50 a head. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So, you know, you, you here's your choice. You either don't have events um, or you have events, but you have to charge your customers to come to it. And now you got the problem of getting people to pay to come to the event, which is no easy thing. Trust me, I, I'm in that business, right? So there's that, or you have the event and you go cheap. So you don't really give them any, you know, you just give them coffee and then they're all grouchy because you haven't fed them and everybody else in the industry is feeding them and taking them out to these wild exotic places and parties and swag and all the things. Right. And here you are, you know, you're working on a, you know, shoestring budget there and you look cheap. So when you're doing these events, you got to think about it. It's going to cover those costs. They allow you to invest in the more experiences. That's what I was just talking about for attendees that you would not otherwise be able to provide. So some of the big parties that we throw, whether it's a, you know, mini golf event, or we did, we did this epic white party at the top of a hotel, you know, pool top rooftop, downtown Nashville, or we take everyone to the grand old Opry, or we do these things, you know, we can do that because we have the sponsor money. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't be able to do those experiences. It would be like, you know, well, there's a cup of coffee and we'll see in the morning. Yeah. Um, and when you provide those experiences, you know, people get excited and they, they, they post on social media about it. They're like, this is epic. This is great. And that's good marketing and advertising. So you want to make sure you provide those experiences. They add an attractive element to events. Attendees like to learn about new products and services and vendors. You know, one of the things we did, and this was, I think, Tanya, I'll give you credit. I think it was your idea, unless someone on your team was, you know, we had that one year, we had all the new vendors in a hallway, right? And what do we call it? What do we call that area? We call it new, we called it new vendor row. Yeah. So new we, vendor well, row. each, 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 each time that we had it, um, you know, it was themed to different things. So, um, you know, Holly's team would come up with a really good theme part of that, that, that fed into what our theme for boot camp was, but it was all new vendors. So yeah. And people love that. Like they love new stuff. So when you have these vendors that are in the hallway, you know, it, it adds an element to your event. People do like to talk to the vendors. The other thing they do is even if they're a current customer of that vendor, the vendor likes it and they, and the attendee likes it. Cause sometimes they go, they get conversations and things resolved and, issues resolved and, and whatnot. You know, one of the things that Kaseya is talking to us about is sponsoring a booth um, where I think it's, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it wrong. I think it's called, um, it's something to do with true peer, but it's, it's VIP peer, I think is what they call it. And they're going to have a booth now at our events and they want it to be a customer service booth for any Kaseya customers that happen to be at our events. Well, why the heck would they do that? You think they're already a customer because when you're in person, there's a different element to it. Like they can, people can walk up and say, Hey, I'm having an issue with X, Y, Z, or I'm, I'm interested in, in, in something over here. I got a billing issue or I got a whatever. Right. And they can handle that and provide a VIP customer service experience. And th like, that's a, see, that's an attractive element because there are members of ours that are clients of Kaseya and they're going to like having that element there. Now they're in the sponsor hall with the sponsors, but it's still, it's another attractive element. Um, 
the other thing I would add is it's a revenue stream that doesn't require product delivery. So you've already done the work at scheduling and filling the events. And so you're adding on the sponsorship and it's an easy way to be more profitable because unlike your normal services, you know, you're just, you're already, you're already going through the trouble of having the event. Just adding a sponsor is really not that difficult and they fill in the gaps of your service offering. So for us, for example, when we have sponsors that, um, that answered like answer connect or something like that, where they, they come in to our event, we're telling our members, Hey, you need to answer your phone live. And by the way, go out in the hallway. There's a, there's a company that's a great company. Go talk to them. See, our members love that. And I like it because now I have somebody I can give that advice and I know it's it's much more likely to be followed through on. So you want to also think strategically about having sponsors at your event that fill in the gaps for what you don't do or don't want to do, but you want to have a good partner or a referral partner, someone to tell your clients to go to, because again, that enhances the entire experience for your customers. So um, I'll add one other thing. The right sponsors also add credibility to your events. Um, and that's, that's true. You know, when you've got big companies sponsoring your events, the main vendors in the channel, you know, that does add credibility for your attendees. So Tanya, do you want to add anything? No, I think you, I think you, you've got, you, you know, hit the nail on the head with this. Like, that's exactly what it is. The sponsors just add so much, um, more to the event. It gives people, like you said, the ability to see what's new. Um, you know, if, if they're looking for something, I know at our events, our MSPs are talking with each other and saying, Hey, how did you do this with your staff? What do you do? You know, we've got Will Nobles that's on stage constantly talking about, you know, how he's packaging and pricing, you know, his cybersecurity offering. And then they can go in the hallway and talk to these people and say, Oh, I need this, or I don't have that, or I'm, I'm looking for a little different, um, opportunity. So they get to really learn a lot what with what we're teaching or really what anybody else is teaching inside the room and then go outside of the room and actually find the tools to be able to to do what they just learned. Yeah, very, very important. So this is all the reasons, in addition to the money, obviously, this yeah. is all the reasons why you really want to be serious about sponsorship dollars. All right. Um, so what can you get sponsorship dollars for? Um, any in-person events, seminars, or workshops from a table in the back to a speaking spot, um, Tanya and, and the team was even clever enough. We got the Wi-Fi sponsored. So they had to type in part of the password was the name of the company that sponsored. I found out, I guess I could say Datto. I mean, like they, they, it was Datto. It was a couple yeah. of years ago, but I feel like I'm giving away a password. That's why I hesitated. You know what I mean? Like, I was like yeah, that, was, exactly. that was the Wi-Fi. Um, yeah. So anything, I mean, you have an event, anything, even like if you have a cocktail reception, getting the napkins and the tabletops sponsored, if you have a speaker at your event and you want to buy books for attendees, you can get, you can get a sponsor to pay for the books and you drive everybody to that sponsor booth. So there's all kinds of ways you can get money at events, um, and sponsorship dollars, obviously webinars and virtual events, same thing. You can, you can say, Hey, this webinar is being sponsored by, and you have a little commercial at the beginning or the end. Um, websites, blogs, member portals, same thing. You have a little ad on there uh, on your website or uh, on a blog, you could sponsor a blog post, magazines, newsletters, and other print publications. If you have those, if you don't have those, you can talk to us because we do that as well. Yeah. Social media groups. Another thing people don't realize is there are some large social media groups, um, like MSP success magazine. We just kind of launched ours earlier this year, and we've already got thousands of people in the group. And we don't really advertise too much because you don't want to abuse it. But if we have a webinar for a sponsor, we can advertise that in the social media group or we can have like a vendor post or or you can even run ads um, without giving your list away. We can you know, we can um, we can take your your ads and run it to our audience on Facebook or LinkedIn. And of course, YouTube, your YouTube channel. I mean, YouTube there, they monetize people monetize YouTube all the time, but you can sell a sponsorship in the sense of like, before you start your video, say, Hey, this video is being sponsored by blah, blah, blah. Or you can do it at the end, or you can make the whole video about the sponsor. We do uh, sponsor spotlights, we call them. And it's where I sit down with one of the vendors and I I bring up a topic or I ask them a question and we put it on our YouTube channel and we've got thousands of, subs of subscribers to our, our YouTube channel that are all MSPs. 
And they're getting to see that. And then we put it on our Facebook group and Facebook and LinkedIn and so all the all the social media, all the interwebs out there, right? Yeah. So you can you can sponsor that or any endorsement or access to your clients and prospects. It's as simple as that. You could host a webinar and invite everybody to your of your you know, on your list and you get the sponsor on there. Um you're you're good to go. Um Tanya, is there anything I missed? No, I mean, I think I think that this is this is a good list of it. I mean, you know, we we sit down as a team and say, OK, what can we do? What can we add? You know, we're in, we're hot and heavy right now into 2025 planning. And we do we look at, OK, where are the holes? What are we already going to do? What is TMT going to do in 2025 and how can we enhance it with a smart sponsorship with that? So that's really that's really what you'd look at. And if you're doing any of these types of things, you can definitely, you know, get a sponsorship attached to it typically. A hundred percent. Right. So if you're going to do this, there's three components to a successful sponsorship program. There's the marketing sales and then there's fulfillment, right? So marketing is like, you have to, sponsors want to know audience demographics. So you got to do a little polling. You got to really understand who the audience is because that's what sponsors want to know. They're going to say, who am I getting access to? Creating inventory, which is like what we're just talking about. Okay, at an event, what are all the ways you can sell sponsorship from um, sponsoring the coffee break, a, a book sponsor, a speaking spot, um, a peer group, a dinner going on that night? You know, there's creating that inventory. And we're very, very good at, and Tanya, and I say we, I, I, it's really Tanya and the team. They're very good at creating that inventory and then packaging and pricing it in an appropriate way. You have to put together what's called a prospectus. If you're not familiar with that prospectus is really basically a brochure, you know, and it tells who the audience is and what the sponsor opportunities are and what the packages are, and what the prices is are, what the prices are, um, all the information. So you have to have that prospectus because every sponsor is going to want to know that website collateral and then your contract and terms like you know um and there's 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 an art to that too because you know you can also get a sponsor that goes a little sideways and can can ruin an event so you do want to make sure you're thinking about um the contracts and the terms and and whatnot with with those sponsors all right um then you got sales and in sales you got to have a a list of prospects that you got to call on initial outbound prospecting the consultative sales process so once you get somebody interested getting them the material and then obviously selling them a, a package and it's not like you just get on and you say here's the brochure what do you want to buy it's a very strategic conversation you're having like about what are your plans and what are your goals and who are you trying to get to and 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 what are you good, or do you have a good person who's good on speaking because if you do, maybe we should put you on stage. If you don't, maybe we shouldn't. You know, so there it's a very strategic conversation that you want to have. It's not just an order taking position. Again, I think this is where a lot of people screw up, I think, with the sponsorship sales, because they have sponsorship sales reps that are order takers. They they sent they they email out a PDF, here's our prospectus, and call me if you want to buy something. And that's not sales, that's order taking. And to, and, and it's not great for the customer either because you want to have that consultative process, collection of payment, and then there's a handoff. Here's what we sold. Now we got to hand it off to the concierge. I'm saying concierge team or fulfillment. And that concierge team is a person or a team of people who's the point of contact. They're the ones actually making sure the sponsor knows what they bought how to get fulfill on it, um, collecting things like their logo and who's the speaker and what's the title if they're speaking at an event, all the details, delivery of that package, on-site setup and support. Because if it's an event, you know, sponsors are going to show up and they, they're they going to be like, they need someone there to greet them and say, okay, here's your table and here's where the event's going to be. And here's my cell phone number. If something happens, I'm going to help you. I mean, my team's even gone so far. I mean, we've, I mean, Tanya has even worked a booth before when one of the, you know, when, when multiple times multiple and, and we sold more for the sponsor, it, we should, we should add that on like yeah. booth in the booth selling. We should add that on as a bonus. Right. Yeah. But you know, because the sponsor, like, I, what was it? A flight got missed or they got sick or something. Yeah, else? I mean, we, I, but between Drew and I, and I think even Holly has, has had to work some too. It's, it's, you know, obviously when COVID hit, there were people that weren't able to travel and they had had a sponsorship and they still wanted to have presence. So we, we did that. And then yes, if they, we've had it to where someone's missed their flight, flights are constantly getting, you know, messed up. And so if, if they are, you gotta, you gotta get in and, and do what you can do. Uh, yeah. To, Cause that they're your customer. 
Yeah. So all that has to happen because the experience they have at the event is going to determine whether or not they sponsor again, <laughs> you know, and that's, you know, so that's why we have such a high rate of return sponsors because they come to the event and everything is as it should be. And we take good care of them. And if they need help or whatever, we provide it. So you got to have that element as well. Right. So, um, that brings us to da, 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 announcing our sponsorship as a service, right? And the reality is we can do all of these things for you. So this service that we're talking about um, really is a complete service. We, we can parcel it out a little bit, like if, you know, starting with just the, with just the marketing component of it, maybe doing a little bit of sales or maybe helping with some fulfillment, um, so a couple of points I just want to bring out, we can do any or all of the three components, but we have to be involved with the marketing to assist with sales and fulfillment. So for example, if you say, well, Robin, I just want you guys to sell um, the sponsorship package. We still need to be involved in the marketing because the strategy and, and the prospectus and everything else that's there. So there still has to be a component of that, but we can do just the marketing part of it, um, marketing and sales or marketing sales and fulfillment, it really depends on what you want or what you need. Um, and we're only taking a very limited number of clients. We're just launching this. We, we want to make sure we do it really, really well. So we don't want to inundate ourselves and have dozens of, of people reaching out, um, having us to sell their sponsorship. Um, and we're asking that you're going to apply to be considered. And maybe Tanya, if you could put the link in there, um, it's bigredmedia.com forward slash sponsor. We'll put that up in a minute. Um, bigredmedia.com forward slash forward slash sponsor. Yeah, slow down to get make that corner. Um, so anyway, so we're gonna have you apply. Uh, pricing for these services, we're gonna be quoted on a case by case basis because again, if you're just starting up, it's gonna be different than if you have a very mature sponsorship program. Um, you know, or depending on what is needed. So I can't say here's what it's going to cost. I'll talk about how we're gonna get started here in a minute. Um, because the initial investment is going to be $30,000 and that's across the board, no matter what we do. So that $30,000 is a consulting engagement to help you with the marketing component of your sponsorship plan. And what you're going to get for that $30,000 is initially you're, it's a 90 minute strategy session with me and Tanya, and we're just going to kind of go over your goals and, and talk about a strategy for obtaining them. So you might say, well, Robin, we want to do. Um, you know, we want to do 25 events next year in various different cities, and it's going to cost us $40,000 or $50,000 per event. And we would like to get at least 50% to hundred percent of that covered through sponsorship dollars, you know, so we're going to get some goals and we're going to tell you if you're crazy or not. Yes. Um, and we're going to tell you what's possible or not. And if you want that to obtain that goal, here's what you're going to have to do. So that initial 90 minute strategy session is really just to kind of formulate that go to market and uh, understand what our goals are. Then what we're going to do is take your current sponsorship program, whatever it is, your inventory, your prospectus, your packaging, your pricing, your sales process. And we're going to do a deep dive. You're going to send all that to us and we're going to look at your properties. We're going to look at the events. We'll gather all this detail in that 90 minute session. So that 90 minutes is like, we're going to be asking you, Hey, send us all the, you know, where you're going, send us the agenda, send us the, um, what your current sponsorship program is, send us the layout of the hotel. Like we're going to do all of, we're going to look at all that. And then we're going to come back with a revised sponsor plan that includes very specific recommendations on how to package and price the sponsorship opportunities that you have. Like, for example, we might come back and we might say, hey, if you could add on two 15 minute speaking spots in the morning or, you know, the morning and right after lunch or something like that, you know, we could get you, you know, $6,000 for that or whatever. I don't know. It depends on the size of the audience too. So that's all the magic we're going to work for you. We're going to revise your sponsor package. We're going to include specific recommendations. Then we're going to have a half day consulting. And that is going to be where we train your team, where we go through every event, every detail, your prospectus, your sales process. And in two 90 minute sessions, or you can do it in one, three hour, if you prefer, 
We're going to train your team on how to execute that plan. And I'll even go so far as to say, if you want to do them remote, we can do them remote, but we have a great office in, in, in Brentwood and we have two offices now, one in Brentwood, one in Franklin. And you come to our Brentwood office, we got a nice conference room. If you want to fly in and spend a half a day with us, you know, I'll even throw in lunch, you know, if you want. So um, uh, that's, that's, that's the option there. And, and then if appropriate, we could discuss additional services because that's where we could say, all right, well, you want us to, you know, you maybe you want us to write uh, your prospectus and do the graphic design on it. And maybe you want us to sell it for you. And um, that's why I can't give you a price on those services because there it's just depends on so many factors. But that $30,000 you're going to spend with us, I promise you, you're going to make that back multiple times over. I mean, really, you only need a couple more sponsorship sales to really make that back. And right. once we give you the secret sauce and show you how to package a price and sell it and what to think about when you're even, even when you're going into a hotel, how do you evaluate the hotel? You know, because the, the speaking space, where does the registration table, where are people going to walk? How are they going to flow? All that has to be taken into consideration if you want to maximize sponsorship revenue, right? So that's, I mean, we know all this stuff. We're going to give this to you, your team and work with you on that. Okay. So if you are interested in this, if this is, uh, you know, if you're curious about, Hey, maybe I want to do this and the $30,000, you would like to do that. What we're doing is we're asking that you schedule an initial consultation. So we're not sending you to a webpage where you go sign up and pay the money. Um, go to bigredmedia.com forward slash sponsor. And you're going to see a little application. We're going to ask you some questions and then you're going to get on a phone call um, with us and we will kind of ask you some questions and make sure we can actually do a good job for you. And if we can, and you feel comfortable and we feel good about it, then it's $30,000. We do that consulting engagement at the end of that. That's when we're going to, um, we could talk about other services that we could provide you. Um, Tanya, that's it. I mean, it was pretty easy. I think straightforward. Yeah. I mean, I think the good thing, the thing to think about this, if, if this is something that you're even, you know, entertaining is that you do get, our, you know, the expertise from our entire group. So it takes more than um, just one person on our team to make this happen. You know, we're, we're, we sit down and look at all aspects of it from the sales part to fulfillment. That's how we get into that marketing piece. And we really look at like, okay, if I can sell this, can we fulfill on it? And those are the things that we would look at with you guys too. It's just making sure that, that, you know, typically it's not the sale. You don't really even have a sales team. If this is the first time you guys are starting to put together an event, it's probably the marketing team. It's the biz dev team. You're trying to figure out how to do your other job and fulfill on some sponsorships for your events. And, and why not use our team to, to do that for you? Yeah. We'll turnkey it for you. You'll get the money and you don't have all this headache and work and everything else. Cause the, again, you know, we're a media company. So this is more in our wheelhouse. This is in, in our expertise. You know, if you're a software company and you're trying to run events and sell sponsorship, often it's just, it just doesn't jive with the DNA of your, your org. Right. And, and then, so what happens is you end up, you know, pointing to somebody and say, okay, you're in charge of this, right? And that poor yeah. bastard has to then like figure it all out themselves and they have yeah. no resources and no help and anything else. And some of the poor bastards who are sitting there nodding going, yeah, that's me. I'm that yeah. poor bastard, right? You know, so maybe if that's you and you'd like to, you know, just get that off your plate so you can actually do the job you were probably hired to do, um, you know, then go there, bigredmedia.com forward slash sponsor. And we would love to talk to you about your event and see how we can help you. So I don't know, Tanya, I think that's it. It was pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, click on it and it'll get on our calendar and we'll, we'll sit down and, and see if we can help you. Okay. Sounds good. I appreciate you. Thanks everybody. Bye. Thank you guys.